Hey guys, this is Ryan over here at Lost Duck Ranch, and today I'm going to show you how to send out invoices and proposals using the Easy Job System. In the last tutorial, I showed you how to set up your Easy Job System using the electrician's template. So in this one, I'm going to still pretend I'm an electrician, and I'm going to basically make a proposal and invoice for a client. First thing I'm going to do is click New Job, and I'm going to get their email address and type that in here. Next thing I'm going to do is get their name and their phone number. And then I'm going to type in their, their, their client address, which is kind of like the billing address. So go ahead and type that in here. Next you're going to, sorry, excuse me. Next you're going to type in the job address, which is the, the address you're going to be working at. Next. Uh, select a department. Since this is an estimate, I'm just going to put it under estimate. Service type, give it a type of service you're doing. You could set a priority if you want. I'm just going to keep it as the system default, which is normal for this particular easy job system. Give it a due date if you'd like. I'm going to give it a due date of probably, uh, we'll do January 16th. Next, you can assign it to a staff member if you'd like. That way, uh, they know on the 16th they got to go out and do that job. Next thing it asks you to do is if you want to hide the itemized price or not. This is basically if you're going to start uh, billing by percentages, by rough and final, like you'll get your total price and you'll bill 60% in rough and 40% in final. Um, and say you don't want them to see all the little details of what they're getting charged for and you just want to see let them see the big percentages. Just click this button and it won't show all that little itemized stuff. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and ignore all this stuff right now because uh, we're just going to do an itemized in, uh, estimate here for a small job. So next what I'm going to do is this client does need a, a furnace wired up. So what these are is these first boxes are for the quantity of items. Next box is for notes. So I can type in a note in here if I want. And then next thing, so they wanted a furnace, and I guess th they, they need some outlets they decided in that room too, so they want to install five outlets in there. Ooh. And then they wanted one 20 amp outlet, but I'm not going to add notes to that one because it's pretty self-explanatory, and for uh, example purposes here. Next is the job summary. This is a summary where basically you and your client get a C and it's kind of if you, I don't know, need to add notes that the client's requesting or something special and you just want the client to see it, you could add it into this box. Next is attachments. Some people like to do it before picture or add some kind of material receipt or something here. You could do that if you want. You just click that. It'll bring up um, an open file window and you can pick the file you want. Next is job status. You can change the status. You can add the signature. Next is internal notes. And an internal notes is basically uh, notes that your client will not see but you and your company will see. So you could add anything you want in there really that uh, you don't want the client to see. Go ahead since we're done and just hit open. And what it's going to do is basically make a job. It's going to assign us a job number here. And it's going to basically uh, bring us to our job view, where we can basically see everything going on with this job. Um, and to get to this screen, I'll show you here real quick. I'm going to sidetrack, and I'm just going to go back to the main screen under the Jobs tab. And now our job is listed here. Um, it gives us our job number, the date it's created, the address we need to do work at, the client, the priority of this, if it's assigned anyone, the due date, and what department or status it's in. Um, but So now I'm going to go ahead and click it and it's going to bring us back to the job view. And in this view it's probably the most powerful function here because everything you want to know about the job is in this location. Don't have to go anywhere else. This green box here will have all the information about it. Scroll down and then you got all the information about your proposal. There's our furnace, our outlets, our five of them, our notes. Um, our other outlet, how much they are per item, and then if we're charging a percentage, if we're getting deposits, 
and the total amount of the proposal. Next, later, I'll show you in a, maybe this video additional services, which basically are services that are added on after the proposal. Right now there's none, so nothing's populating. Same thing goes for invoice. There's nothing populating. There's no total, so we're good there. Nothing's going on. Also, it'll show you um, the staff time. When your staff enter in their timesheets, um, they'll select the job they're working on. Well, when they select that job, this will this will find that and list the total hours per job here. After that, you have your job communication. Job communication over, over here is what you've emailed to the client and what the client has responded back with. Then you have your internal notes. Right now, we don't have any, but what that is is basically uh, notes from like before, you and your company only to see. Then you got some powerful tools down here like job communication, which is where you can send invo or, uh, emails out to the client and all your invoices and proposals, which it'll also go to the job communication thread as well. Then you have your post internal notes, which basically you could send notes to you and your staff. You could also uh, assign this job to a different department right here and you can assign the job to staff members right here. Anyway, we're going to scroll up and let's say this client wanted to only spend about $350 and our proposal is at $375 right now using all our default prices and everything. Well, there's a way to change that. All you got to do is click this edit button here. When you click this button, it's going to bring you to basically a screen you're kind of used to. It's basically like when you open a job or create a job. But if you scroll down a little further past all your items here, you could actually change the prices below for this particular job. And what do we have here? We got five, five, five 15 amp outlets. And the total price in our default pricing of those was $30 a piece. I'm going to change those to $10 to try to get their price lower and earn their business. And just another side note here, I guess, is under custom items, say, say the client has something really weird that you don't have in your 99 predefined that you made items here. <laughs> you could go ahead and just uh, make up one here and you get uh, nine miscellaneous items per job that you could pick or that you can make just randomly. So I'll kind of add one here. Um, in, oh, we'll do in floor heating and quantity one we'll say it's a thousand dollars notes install in spare room alrighty um, add in the internal notes you want you can also edit the terms and conditions uh, for this particular job if, if for some reason a condition needed to be changed but I'm gonna go ahead and hit save And I guess since I added that miscellaneous item, <laughs> our price went big time. So let's say the customer wanted everything to be below 1300 which we are now. See, our, our 15 amp outlets went to um, $10 for one instead of 30 So that brought our price down under 300 But then we added our in-floor heating, which brought it back up to 1000 So basically that's our total price, price for the proposal. So now what you want to do is just hit print proposal if everyone's happy with that price. And what it's going to do as soon as you hit print is it's going to generate a PDF. And this PDF you could either print out or you could save it to your computer and email it out through the software. Um, as you can see, uh, your company logo will be right here. When you order our software, uh, we will install the, the logo here. That way it'll look nice and neat for you. Next thing is your company information will be right here, which you add in the admin panel. All your client information is right here. And then you have your uh, automatically generated number and the date that you made this proposal. Scroll down and we have all our items here. Grand total, $12.75. Customer's great with it. If we added any terms and condition, that's going to be down there. So I'm happy with this proposal, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it from my records to my hard drive. So I saved it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back uh, to the job view here. 
Let me uh, cancel out of all this stuff. And this is going to take me back to the job view. And now I'm going to scroll to the very bottom to the job communication. And um, basically, this works just like sending an email. This is basically your subject line. You could say, here is your proposal from uh, whatever your company's name is. Uh, you can also CC email addresses right here if you need to send it to more than one person. Also, uh, you can add responses. And right now, um, I'm going to just use a, a predefined response, which will basically automatically generate uh, their name, the address that we're doing work on, and anything else that I predefined in this response. I'm going to go ahead and under attachments, I'm going to attach this file, this uh, this proposal. And basically, that's going to update right now. It's showing it right there. You can add a signature if you want. I'm going to go ahead and hit post reply. What this is going to do now is it's going to send uh, the client the proposal an email, and it's also going to put it in the job thread. So it's it's in the record that I sent the proposal off January 11, 2015 at 7.30 p.m. And there it is, and there's even the proposal. Now, say I am the client, and um, I wanted to see the proposal. Well, here it is actually right here. Basically, Lost Duck Ranch. We, we defined that when we set up our, our uh, easy job software. Here is your proposal. I could go ahead and click that. And my uh, PDF proposal is already attached to the email. It says my name, um, where, I'm, where I'm doing the work. And since I'm the client, it basically gives me a link where I can actually log into the easy job system as well by clicking this. And I get to see the job thread too. So basically, it'll tell me all the details about the job that's happening. Basically, it'll say, yeah, me, my email address, my phone number, my address, and the job communication. Basically, it also has the recording of January 11th. This proposal's been sent out. And the cool thing is, is since I'm the client, I can also send messages back, and I can also add attachments. So I could say, oh, hey, that uh, proposal is great. Thanks. Can't wait to see you Friday. Hit post reply. Okay, so now I'm going to pretend I'm not the client anymore and I'm, I'm back to being the, the electrician. So if I go to the job again, and I refresh this job view by clicking uh, this refresh button. Show you something kind of cool. I now have confirmation in our job communication that, hey, the proposal's good. All the work's ready to be made. And they confirmed this January 11th at 7.32 p.m. So everything's good, and this is a good way to also do a, a change of work order forms. Um, say you send out a, a work order for additional items. Um, you could go ahead and, uh, and, and send it in the job thread, and then they can confirm it, and then that way there's no miscommunication because everything's timestamped, everything's there. There's no way that you could get confused on it. So since we did the proposal, we went out, we did the work, everything's good to go. Um, now we need to invoice this guy. We're going to go ahead and just click this invoice button. Or actually, wait, before that, let, let's, let's add an additional... An extra, basically. A lot of electricians need to add a lot of different extras. Um, so there's this, this button up here called Add Extras. And, and, and this is basically where you can add more items to the, uh, to the proposal or, or to the invoice. And so I'm going to say we needed to add two more 15 amp outlets. And you could basically change this drop down too in the admin panel, which you could see in later videos. But uh, I'm just going to say uh, homeowner upgrade. I'm going to say it, they, they wanted uh, two more. Needed two more to be to code. No, we'll just do that. 
they needed two more to beat a code. So it wasn't a homeowner upgrade, it was just a code upgrade. Go ahead and hit save. And come on, don't know what's going on here. I think the, my kids are hogging the bandwidth or something. <laughs> anyway, extra is updated successfully. And if I scroll down in our job view, hey, we got an additional service going on. We, we have uh, two more 15 amp outlets and we're, we're installing them for uh, $20. So that'll show that. And then now what you could do is uh, you can say in your job communication here, you could just say, uh, please confirm um, extra outlets and you could even just copy and paste all this if you want to or you could send out another uh, proposal with this just hit post reply the customer is going to get that uh, email they could click that link again and what they will see is in your job view you also can just click client view and that's going to log us into what they see and i'm kind of going a little fast if this doesn't make sense for a lot of people but um basically then the client can say hey um they could they could log in here and say uh yeah that uh extra work is fine thanks hit post reply now everything's time stamped everything's good to go the client acknowledges that the code upgrades there you acknowledge that the code upgrades there there can't be any dispute anymore and so now we're going to invoice out say we fit we completed the work on uh, on friday everything's good to go let's go ahead and just click this invoice button and then the invoice button, if there's any material deposits, you can invoice that, but obviously there's not. We're not invoicing by percentage, so we're not going to use any of these buttons here. We wanted an invoice job by items. And we're just going to hit do on everything. And we're going to hit do on this extra here. And then we're, we, you can even uh, say you want, actually we're going to do two different invoices. We're going to say we installed all this stuff on Friday. And then, uh, but we didn't install the extra two outlets yet. So we went ahead and now in our job view, you can see that uh, the proposal is now populating right here. Additional services is that code upgrade and invoices right here. Oh, I think I, sorry, I must have clicked the wrong button. Let's go back into invoice here because our invoice only said $20. Go ahead and uh, hit do, 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 and pending on the extra. Hit save. All right, let's see if that invoice looks a lot better on what we want to invoice them, huh? There we go, that looks better. Invoice 1275, which was the original amount of the proposal. Everything's good there. So what we want to do is basically hit print invoice. It's going to do basically the same thing as the proposal did. <clears throat> Except basically the only changes are it has the invoice number instead of proposal number. Um, go ahead and if you like it, you could either print it out or you could go ahead and just hit save. I usually just always copy the name. Go ahead and hit save. I'm going to go on back to that... Uh, job view here okay and in the job view I'm going to scroll down to the very very bottom and I'm going to send out the invoice to this guy so I'm just going to say invoice da 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 is ready to view alrighty and then under responses you can just click the invoice uh, pre-response that way it'll populate everything to you Click choose file on the attachment, attach the invoice, hit post reply, and you're done. It already just now sent out the invoice to them in email. They got it. 
It also keeps a record that the invoice was sent out right here. The invoice was sent out on January 11th at 7.38 p.m. All right, everything is good to go. Now, say uh, you got a check in the mail. Um, everything's good to go. Uh, they they paid the $12.75, but now you want to bill the, the extras. All you do is go back to invoice here. And since they paid the $12.75, you could just hit previous on these. That way there's a record that you did the work here. You can also then on the extras, just change that to do. And you could put an a, a additional number on the invoice here. So you could just say this is invoice B. And what this does is just put a B at the end of the job number. That way it's a completely different invoice number. A lot of companies, if you're an electrician and you're doing uh, work for kind of a bigger company a lot of them like to have separate invoice numbers and that's kind of what this invoice number is for so i'm going to go ahead and hit save and when i do that you can even see the job number here change to uh 389852b and so um now if i scroll down to invoice it has a um all of our previous stuff is right here and total amount is twenty dollars for our additional service we, we we did so now let's go ahead and just bill them the extra twenty bucks so go ahead and just hit print invoice again hit print and look at that it looks just like we saw in our job view uh, total price twenty dollars they paid all that everything's good to go just uh, scroll to the bottom hit save or print it out now um, I'm going to save this one as invoice, the invoice number with the B. Go ahead and hit save for your records. Um, go ahead and just uh, go back to the, the main job view screen. And once you're in the job view screen, um, scroll to the very bottom. And you could just, uh, I just copy and paste that invoice number. Um, is ready to view. Uh, you could just hit a pre pre made response if you want, and also you could add a little extra if you want. You could also add a um, thanks for all the great reviews on Google. Something like that. You could always just add personal messages if you want. Again, you can CC. But I'm going to go ahead and just hit attach, attach this invoice. Go ahead and hit post reply. And it's going to email it out to the client. It's going to save it in the job thread. Everything is, is completely um, in the history now. Everything's good to go. So now say we're, well, we're, we're done with this job. In our jobs, it's, it's showing... Uh, it's still showing up here, but say we're done with it. Of course, our department still says estimate, so I need to change that. So what I'm going to do is click back on the job. Because it's not an estimate on the job. We actually completed the job in a matter of eight minutes or so. So I'm going to scroll down here and hit department transfer. And just uh, say invoice sent. You can put a comment if you want. Hit transfer. Um, now for department right here, oh, let me scroll back to the top. For department, the invoice has been sent. Um, now all I'm going to do is go back to this job screen. And mostly, um, here's kind of how your jobs work. You have your open jobs, which are jobs you're working on. Then you have your closed jobs, which are jobs you're not working on anymore. So this will help you kind of keep track of your jobs. And to do that, you can either close the job in the job view, or you could just click this button here and hit close. And yes, do it. And as soon as I close the job, it's no longer going to show up on my open jobs. Which means, hey, I don't have any work to do. I got to go advertise somewhere because I need to make some money. So anyway, that's kind of how invoices and proposals work. Sorry the video was long, but there, there's a lot of stuff to, to kind of go over. If you have any questions or want to know more, please give us a call or go to www.lostduckranch.com. Thanks, guys.